Hey, I'm Kristen Cavallari. And I'm Orly Shani. And you're watching Celebrity Bites on SNTV. Well, The Fabulous is a show. It's once a week on E! It's 30 minutes. It's fun. It's informative. And we're telling you all about the latest trends in fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I feel kind of awesome. <laughs> I think the thing that makes The Fabulous different is that we're we're sort of forecasting trends as opposed to just looking at what's out there and kind of talking about it. We're really telling you what's going to be out there tomorrow, which is exciting and fun to be a part of that because then we start seeing it sort of pop up on celebrities, we see it pop up on red carpets, we start seeing it everywhere, so it's really fun to be a part of that. Chrissy Teigen is coming on, June Ambrose is coming on again, so we're really excited for the guests. And you know, every week is, is really exciting for us because we have new people come on. Um, it really just changes it up and, and everyone brings their own sort of flavor to it, which keeps it really interesting. Yeah, and I think it's been really nice too that you know we do only shoot the show a couple days before it actually airs. And so we have the opportunity every week to learn from the previous show and to get in and make tweaks. And for me, that's the most enjoyable part. Like we can jump on the phone and we can talk about something and be like, did you notice this? Let's try this next week. And I think that that's so great and so exciting that it's not like something we shot a year ago and it's just sort of rolling out. Every week it's fresh and it's new and we have the chance to make it better and better. Warm and cozy and fabulous. Kristen Cavallari and Orly Shani know which trends are here to stay and which should go away. <laughs> We actually met through this process um, of becoming host for The Fabulous, and we instantly clicked. Orly has a little boy. I have one as well, and another one on the way. And so we, you know, bonded over our mommy stuff, yeah. um, and we just we just clicked. So we've known each other for a few months now, and yeah. we're just having a blast. We got really, really lucky that we got along so well because we spend lots of hours together. Yeah. So it's been really fun. You know, it couldn't have been with someone better. So it's great. You know, there are times when we really don't agree, and we'll we'll absolutely um, butt heads and, and talk it out. But Which makes it kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It's kind of in interesting and funny when we don't agree. But for the most part, yeah. with the fashion stuff especially, we um, we tend to agree. Yeah. A uh, favorite trend for me is white on white for spring. I think it's so clean and fresh and classic and really looks good on everybody. Um, it's not one that I'll probably be wearing just because of the baby bump. It's not <laughs> quite as cute. <laughs> but maybe I'll, I'll try it after I have the baby. <laughs> um, I'm loving crop tops and pencil skirts. I think that it's a really cool way to take things that have been in our wardrobe for a while and wear them in a totally different way. And if you're someone who doesn't want to show your whole midriff, you now have a, a new way to wear crop tops. So I think it's great. It's, it's really fun and it's super sexy. I'm biased because I have a shoe line, but thigh-high boots have been big this past fall and they're gonna still be big next fall, so I'm really excited about those. I think they're so sexy um, and I just love them. Yeah, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna jump on her bandwagon. Thigh-high boots are great and there's so many ways that you can wear them. So you get women who wanna be really sexy and have a moment, pair them with little shorts and like an oversized sweater, and then you have people pull them up over their skinny jeans. They're really versatile and they're really great. And Kristen has a great pair. Yeah, and you can get them as flats too. You don't have to necessarily get like the, the, the hooker, hooker ones, you know? <laughs> um, you can dress them down and, and make them not quite as in your face sexy. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that or not. Oh, I'll say it, whatever. Um, well, it's actually, out there. Whether it's you like out it there, or not, yeah. Not, yeah. Um, these women have been wearing the dresses that have, it's like completely open all the way down on the side. Like Gwen Paltrow wore a dress, and Gwen Paltrow literally has the best body, and it doesn't even look good on her. I just think it's. It's showing too much, it's not really sexy. I don't know, I think leave those at home. <laughs> um, and, and mine, I've been pretty consistent with this I one. <laughs> this is a good one, this is a really good I one. Don't, I'm not a fan of the trend um, of people wearing their jacket like a cape. <laughs> um, people aren't putting their arms through their jackets. They're just sort of putting it over their shoulders and standing there, and I just cannot stand it. It drives me so nuts, especially because most of the time the jacket's not big enough to rest on their shoulders properly, so everyone just sort of stands there like with their arms like this in this like weird fashion Can't pose. <laughs> and I do that. Ah, just brought a <laughs> I'm not a fan of like the Google Glass. It's no. just like right up in your face. Like I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I do think the watch is cool because it just looks like a watch. Although, um, I hate technology. It's too yeah. much. Oh, yeah. like, I need a break. Let's just stop. It's, it's <laughs> too much. I think we should leave it all at home. Like everyone now is constantly on their phones and they have iPads. Like there's 10 things going on. Like let's all just like calm it down. Power down. Power, Power down. down. <laughs> I'm Kristen Cavallari. And I'm Morley Shani. Make sure you check out The Fabulous. Monday nights, 8.30, only on E!